Hello everyone and welcome to the Sacramento Beer Show. Uh, today I'm going to be trying a beer from a relatively new brewery uh, called Hen House. Um, formerly out of Petaluma, California, now out of Santa Rosa. Um, this one is called Frozen Envelope IPA. Now I remember um, a couple years ago I was listening to a podcast and the, the founders were on there talking about their kind of vision and, and everything and how they were going to do beers that were different. Um, they weren't going to do an IPA because everyone's doing an IPA. Well, a couple years later, they're doing an IPA. Um, so let's see how this one is. Um, so right away on the can here, I see it's a 6.2 ABV, so a nice, uh, nice percentage for an IPA, I think. Um, I was like, my IPA is between six and seven, much higher than that. They get a little too heavy for my personal taste. Um, and then uh, immediately following the uh, ABV statement on the can, it says, check the date. And checking uh, on the bottom of the can says canned on 718. Uh, today is uh, the second, so that puts this beer right around a half a month old. Um, let's see. Looking at the side of the can, I'm seeing another thing. Uh, please check the date on the bottom of can. Um, all right, I've checked it. Um, so let's let's see what the. Uh, the brewery says here, as we all know, the NBA rigged its 1985 draft lottery so that Patrick Ewing would land with the New York Knicks. In a move equally deceitful and curious, the Knicks envelope was placed in a dry ice bath so that NBA Commissioner David Stern would be able to identify that particular envelope by its being colder than the others. I'm sure they'd tell you it was for the best of the league, but that doesn't make it right. Frozen envelope features Conan yeast. Antonum hops and Idaho Seven hops. These can, uh, oh, these cans are perishable, and this beer expires in 21 days. Wow! So that's even sooner than um, Stone likes to do with their. I think it's 37 days on their Enjoy By uh, cans. So this is 21 days. So I'm quickly approaching that. Um, let's see, 18. Yeah, so I'm right about uh, 15, 16 days old. Um, so. It says, do not save, drink now, like right now. Why are you still reading? You're wasting time. Hop aromatics start to fade the moment the beer is packaged, and heat speeds up the process. So stop warming up this can and drink the beer. I think I'm going to do that. Uh, and also, nice uh, artwork on here um, to what they're referring with the, uh, the hen and the uh, sneakers. Anyway, let's crack into this. Using it as just a, uh, a simple, simple stemmed uh, tulip shaped glass today. Tell right away, this one is pouring very hazy. Beautiful uh, sort of orange uh, gold color in the glass with a nice haze, uh, but not murky. It's, it's like a very beautiful glowing sort of haze. This is uh, definitely an A plus as far as the appearance goes with a nice uh, finger of ivory white head, um, decent uh, head structure, nice soapy um, kind of medium bubbles on there. Um, just a real a real stunner of a beer in the glass um, appearance wise. And uh, just got a whiff of the the hop aromatics. Let me let me Put my nose in there, see what this is all about. As I spill all over myself, uh, big, bright, citrus, uh, stone fruit, tropical, like pineapple. Um, yeah, I'm not super familiar with this uh, one, the uh, Antonym hops. I have had Idaho 7 before, really enjoyed those. Um, yeah, getting nice uh, sort of almost uh, spicy tropical fruits. Uh, not 
much in the way of uh, like a grapefruit at all, and uh, maybe a little bit, but uh, also not uh, not super what I would call dank either. Maybe just a touch catty. Anyway, I'm excited to try this. Cheers. Alright, uh, very big, bright flavors, a nice effervescence on this, medium body, uh, medium mouthfeel, um, slightly tangy, um, like an orange juice might be, super mimosa style. This this is juice, folks. This is juice with a tiny bit of hot bitterness in the finish. This is super delicious, super drinkable. Um, the head has uh, dissipated uh, quite substantially, but it is still leaving a nice... Um, soapy lacing on the edges of the glass and a nice um, kind of residual head there uh, hasn't completely gone away like some of these hazier IPAs tend to um, just super crisp refreshing there's not too many other words to describe this other than juice. Like this, when I when I first um, one of my first drinks I've ever had was uh, like an orange, pineapple, and um, rum. And this has given me that sort of sweet orange, that slight tang of the pineapple, and uh, this like sort of sweet bitter undertone of rum. Not literally, of course, but I'm, that's. It's taking me back. Just super delicious. Um, I'm going to rate this a... I don't know, this, this might be the, the first... Uh, I'm gonna do something crazy. I'm gonna rate this beer 100 points. This has the perfect amount of structure and body. It feels very light on the palate. It's not thick. You know, some of these like murky IPAs I've had, they feel viscous. This is super clean, very drinkable, nice dry finish, a fairly quick finish not leaving you with any strong flavors on the finish which makes you really want to go in for another sip I think that that's what makes this beer so drinkable too you have it big burst of flavor and then quickly dissipates leaving you wanting more I think any excellent beer should definitely do that. It should make you uh, long for that next sip. Not, uh, yeah. And just the right amount of hot bitterness in the end to remind you that this is a beer. This is an IPA. But it has these super juicy flavors. 
Uh, and I had this one um, first, maybe, uh, I wouldn't have had this one maybe uh, six, maybe six or seven days ago, and it was even bigger. So, can imagine trying this <laughs> after it was freshly brewed. This is an outstanding beer. Um, I bet you it'd even be good after 21 days, but uh, it's not sticking around for me to find out. Um, anyway, look at that color. Um, yeah, 100 points. Frozen Envelope. Hen House Brewing. The brewery that said they wouldn't do an IPA. And now they're knocking it out of the park with this juice bomb of a IPA. Crazy. Excellent. Thank you for watching the show today. Um, please subscribe to the channel on YouTube. Uh, please like this video. If you're on the Facebook, please share it. Uh, please like it. Really appreciate all of you that have come on board with the show over the last month or two. Um, gonna keep coming out with more reviews, more brewery visits. Um, I know I've kind of been slacking, kind of going to a lot of the breweries I've been to already again and again just because they're so good. But there are, you know, 55 plus, 60 plus breweries out there right now that I need to go visit. So look for much more of that coming very soon. So until next time, this has been the Sacramento Beer Show. Cheers. <laughs>